Hello. Hello. Hello and welcome to Accidental Origin, your weekly writing web show. My name is Brendan. This is my show. How's it going out there? I switched my cameras back to the way they were before. I still do have the desk cam uh, that is there. Uh, just using the other camera. I just thought it was too too weird. Uh, it was a little, like really blurry. I didn't like it. So uh, we're going with this instead. Um, yeah, what's new? What's going on? What's up? The plan for today is I want to work on some dialogue exercises. I've been struggling a lot with dialogue in my uh, my personal projects, and I think I need to really improve on that. So uh, yeah, I want to work on dialogue do that kind of thing. See if maybe I can start getting a better idea of what I need to do to get things going, you know? So yeah. Hey, what's going on? All right. Here we go. All right. I do think it's funny how much glare my glasses get, though. It's weird. Okay, uh, so this is a dialogue exercise from uh, Holly... L I'm going to pronounce this wrong. I always do. Holly Lil... Lizzle? I can never pronounce it. It's got, damn it. <laughs> there we go. Um, who's a writer? I know that she's published a ton of books. I mostly know her for her writing classes, which are pretty cool. Um, but yeah. being a fan of what she does she has some writing exercises on her blog on her website so uh i thought i would start with that and uh work our way from there um so i took i took a few moments uh before we got started to uh prep the uh exercises and all that uh so we would be good to go uh when we got started will be very short, I promise. So, uh, we start off with a scenario. A man and a woman who have been married for 15 years meet on the sidewalk in their front yard as she is coming home and he is on his way out. 
The day is gray and blustery with the smell of snow in the air and rapidly falling temperatures. She is dressed far too lightly for the weather. She was supposed to be home all day. He wasn't supposed to be home at all. One of them has to tell the other something important. The other one has to keep the first from finding out something important. Then to the assignment. Exercise one. Sit with your eyes closed until you can see these two people standing in front of their house. See where they're standing in relation to each other, near or far, how they hold their bodies, the expressions on their faces when they surprise each other on the walk. Remember that one of them has something to hide and the other has something to tell. You have to know what these two things are before you begin. The two things can be anything you like. Remember that one is going to avoid telling the truth for whatever reason, and maybe benign or malignant, and the other may have a hard time saying what he or she has to say. When you can see them, and when you can hear their voices, write for 10 minutes. Do not use any words outside of quotes at all. This includes even he said or she said. Just let their voices come through. Write the words as they say them. Don't correct the grammar for them or go back to change anything you have written. Don't cross out anything. Don't erase anything. Just let it all ride and force them to deal with the consequences. Do not allow them to call each other by name. So those are our parameters. Those are our parameters. So think about the characters. Starting to get a bit of a vibe here. So, I do know that I want to avoid anything about adultery because I just don't care about it. Um, it's also really done. Uh, maybe a conversation about work. That could work. Um, What other options do I have here? Uh, I'd probably prefer to avoid divorce talk as well. Take a sheet here and write down what I think uh, to tell.
Okay, let's go back to our scenario real quick there, just so I can see it. Boom. And uh, go with this. Okay, got it. I've got it. Let's do this.
go for 15 minutes instead of 10. But that's fine. It's all good. You got the point across. So then what comes next? You finish, sit back for a few minutes and cool off, then read what you read. Sketching up on my on the exercise here. Bum, bum, bum. Exercise two. Okay, uh, I'm gonna print out my dialogue, and then we're gonna look. At uh, at what it means. So I'm gonna turn off my mic for a sec because my printer's loud. Be quick. All right, we're back. That was weird.
Holly makes a good point where she talks about um, the tones and the moods will flow very fast and I think that's very true of what I've been doing here. Let's try some stuff out. So, I've been wanting to play around with this a bit, so uh, let's do it. page oh that out of focus I'm gonna turn that off I want to focus there that's better So when I was writing this, I kind of cheated in the fact that I actually did the same to tell and to hide. And, and I don't know if this was intended or not, but uh, I kind of felt like their psychology changed from to tell and to hide like every few lines. where they kind of like flip-flopped in their goal of what they wanted. I don't think that's a question mark. Period. I think I'm gonna take an early break and then I'll come back and do exercise two flush this out. This is weird. I don't hate it, but it's it's strange. It's like a three something came up in a row. This intention isn't really clear. That's not how you spell anything. Intention. beyond 
think he would have claimed it was like a business trip or something. Depends on what his previous job was, I suppose. She just says oh a lot, really. Be a comma here. And, uh, I feel like this should be a little less dead. I think this is like a, uh, he starts walking away. Like you right there. Close down doesn't make sense. It would be more like folded or bankrupted or something. Now she's pissed at the company, not him. Should be a pause here, I think. Sarcasm. Should be like a trail off.
thought it was, but he broke. Is, uh, I feel like the, the conversation jumps right here. So that's kind of weird. Good. All right. Uh, I'm going to take a break. Uh, generally, I take a 10 minute break, but I think I'm just going to take a 13 minute break. I'll be back at 1 o'clock Eastern Standard Time. Uh, and I will do part two of this exercise. Uh, actually, I'll go over that real quick before uh, uh, before I go. Uh, so in exercise two, so exercise one, you wrote classic talking heads. You know, something you're supposed to avoid in general. Um, it was a first draft though. So exercise two, you're gonna go back and take that dialogue and fill in and, and add all the stuff to make it like a scene. You know, which is why I add all those notes on the page there uh, of like kind of what thoughts I had and, and what what things I can improve on. So there's that. Then there's an exercise three, but I might not do it. Uh, exercise three is just try something with external conflict or like more characters or stuff like that. Um, So yeah, that is an option. Uh, but I did find some other stuff as well. So we might do one of those other things and see uh, see what we can come up with. But I am gonna be doing dialogue all day today. So yeah, work on exercise. Improve, improve the things we're weak at, <laughs> as it were. Uh, so yeah, uh, I'm gonna take a break. I'll be back at one o'clock. It's about 11 minutes now. Uh, so that's perfect. I'll see you all then.